Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today's video will be Organizing my pantry with me since we are new home and also we're in quarantine I am having some time to kind of organizing things decorating things but even though that Because we can't go out shopping. It's been really hard to find decorations that are really uh, reasonable price and also you're gonna hear the kids because they're playing in a playroom right now but you're gonna see them running around and playing that's just my life right now so my my pantry is not a huge one it's not walking pantry but it is much bigger than what we had before what we used to and i think it's decent size so i want it to be more function not only for me for all of us i also didn't want to order a bunch of containers new stuff for the pantry because right now it's time is really hard i also want to use utilize what I, whatever i had already so let's get started okay so this is how our pantry is looking like it is not a huge pantry but it is decent size and it is so messy i was just stacking everything back to back and not really organizing it first thing is of course take everything out and clean the pantry and see what you're actually working with because you don't know what's there until you see them all i was shocked how much item we had in there okay guys so this is how much item came out from the pantry please ignore hey, my juicer that? they're just drying but look mommy, at this mommy, mommy, mommy. it is mommy. yes zoe Yay! All over the island, all over there, and all over here. We literally living here a little over two months. After laying everything out, I had to come up with a plan. Figuring out what I should do, where I should place the things, why. A lot of them are dependent on my shelf heights, the containers that I have, also who needs to access in there. I had to think all of those and come up with a plan. So for on top, because it's so high that I can't reach all the time, I'm gonna put all the extra stuff. For example, I'm gonna use this basket to put the Ziplocs, napkins and everything that are extra. I'm gonna put that on top. Then I went through all the bags, see what's expired, what needs to be finished right now. Also, those bags are huge, so whatever it has little stuff, I transferred them into smaller ziplocs. Okay guys, so after about an hour, I kind of finished organizing it. It looked much more better. Okay, so here's my list looking like what I need to buy. I think I did really good job using stuff that I already have. And I need a couple stuff. So I need two or three plastic nut containers, one large rice container, three basket, and one dog food container, and four treat containers. I was able to find the items that I was looking for on Amazon. I, for the um, dog treat container and plastic nut container I got this one it comes with four and I like the height of it so this two I can put nuts and then this one I can use it for the dog's treat that was I think that's really good and I also was able to find this this three basket which I was looking for and it comes with three pack and the price is really reasonable. So it's like $8 per basket. Now, I got the plastic nut container. For the rice container, I think I'm gonna pick up one from Walmart because I got this from Walmart. So when I do uh, grocery pickup, I can order one of this from Walmart because I want exactly same container. And I also decided to use this one because this is all the napkins and extra ones are here and this is going to go into the big basket that I just bought and I'm going to use this for uh, Luna's dry food container because it's going to fit in here like perfectly. Guys, so it has been a couple days, um, three, four days right now and I just received the items that I uh, 
ordered in Amazon. So these are the basket. They are a lot smaller than I thought. And these are the containers for the nuts. And I think they are perfect size. So I'm gonna put those in the pantry. Okay guys, so finally couple days of process. The pantry is all complete and let me take a tour for you guys. Okay, up here I have all kinds of extra stuff in here because they're so high I don't have to reach all the time. For example, I have some oils. Oils are here in a smaller container. There are some salts and peppers. They're all in down here in a smaller container. And here I have all the canned foods. It's up there because I don't have to, you know, I don't have to use it all the time. Here's I have a secret, secret candy box, which I hide all my candies in here. Otherwise, they would eat them all. And here are some supplement, extra supplements, some mm, samples and stuff. So they are up there because I'm not using them currently. Here I have a whole bunch of Korean cooking products that I use, some curry, Korean pancake, and I use this rack thing, it has sections, so I put them individually, it's easier for me to find. Here I have some flour, brown sugar, and white sugar. This will be in the future displayed outside. I want to buy Raiden, this brand, sugar container once i get that these kind of items will be displayed in the countertop i have some long grain rice and short grain rice and i have some quinoa pancake mixes and all kinds of noodles are in here down here we have some breakfast items um, syrup nutellas here i have all kinds of spices i got this three racks um, previous home we used to have spices in this bottle and labeled them all but this home it doesn't work that I, I can't hang this next to the stove because our stove our wall area is stone so I'm just gonna use this as spice rack and I will continue keep them in their own um, containers because they're more visible and I know what's the expiration date and stuff. Here I have some two different cooking oil. The main cooking oil is displayed outside but this one I have extra virgin olive oil for salad and for cooking spray for cooking and this is um, sauces that doesn't need to be in the refrigerator and like sesame oil, soy sauces, all kinds of thing for cooking. These are the vitamins we're currently taking and you know it's easy access for us and this area is tea coffee area. My coffee station is outside but I have um, instant coffee, some tea in here so this is where it plays. Down here, here is Luna's kind of section. I have his, her dry food in here. We're almost out but we're gonna open a new package over there and these is her all kinds of treats we go through different kind of treats and i was going to put those in a container but it, it's kind of waste because it comes in really nice ziploc so i'm just gonna keep those in this basket and here are the kids kind of kids snack starts from here so my kids love peanuts and sunflower seeds and this is, I usually buy it from Korean store, they're kind of roasted peanuts and I, I put them in this container that I got from Amazon. And this are sunflower seeds. So this is for Zoe because she doesn't know how to uh, eat the sunflower seed. But this is for Sophie, she enjoys like cracking it open and eating by herself. So this container, I think it's perfect. And I have a basket for random stuff in here, some chocolate chips. Um, some um, mac and cheese and rice cracker. They are just random stuff in here. 
and now the bottom area is all for the kids because they can reach here easily and they don't have to bother me to ask for chips or you know certain uh, snacks that they want to eat that's why I put all the candy up there so they cannot reach now in here we have two different type of uh, cereal in the morning they can pour their cereal and eat themselves too that's why I put them um, down here it's easy for them to reach we have different type of chips here um, I put them in a big ziploc because we usually finish this and we refill this and we don't really buy new chips new new kind of chips we get Doritos Lay's and um, it's for us usually we don't buy this but almost done and of course fish cracker this is almost only chips and crackers that we buy and here are some cookies some Korean snacks in here and here we have some popcorn uh, container this is just regular microwave popcorns and then this is a Korean popcorn that kids love and I also have some snack box in here apple um, sauces and these oatmeal are just in here I'm just gonna I'm gonna replace them for somewhere else and get kids if I get more snacks I'm just gonna put it in here now down here the the basket is a lot smaller than I thought it's a little too tiny but it kind of works so in here we have extra napkins and some wet dog foods are there and here are all kinds of ramen from for the kids and us and some seaweed and this is plastic that trash can plastic that we use throughout the house but here obviously I can place um, rice because I usually buy r big rice from Costco so I want I can put that in here and I was thinking maybe I can buy some like hanging rack from Amazon also so I can put some potatoes some veggies that it doesn't need to be in a refrigerator so that's my next plan but for now it is much functional much easier for us and I know where is what now so so that is it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video I've never done videos like this I think but since we are in new home I, I will be doing a lot more um, organizing decorating video in the future and thank you guys so much for watching please give thumbs up if you feel like this and subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you in the next video bye